Hey guys, it's Anne over at Plant Obsessed, and I'm gonna take a look in on one of my, kind of an overflow bin, I guess you could call it. When I had that problem where everything was really wet, and I had to add a bunch of coconut coir to dry it all out, this is one of the bins that it overflowed into. So I'm just gonna fluff this up and see what we've got. Still looks like there is a good amount of worms in here. They're continuing to breed and be happy now that they're out of that overly wet system. Let's see if we find any food that I fed last time. It's probably been a couple of weeks, so I don't know if I'm going to find anything. Nope, except for some avocado shells and maybe, maybe a tomato skin. That is all I'm seeing. Yeah, and a sprout, of course. Can you see this? I think this was a tomato. making sure I get everything fluffed up. Okay. Well, I've ran out of regular food for them, so they're gonna get just a handful of the grain feeding, and I'm just gonna mix that in. That'll get them through till next week. I'm gonna have a, a surplus again. But these guys are kind of just in a grow up bin. They're extra. But they deserve their five minutes of fame, right? So there they are. Bunch of little grow up worms. They're not quite grown up yet. So we'll just give them that and cover them up and I'll get my other grow up bin. Okay, here's our other grow up bin. Oh, and this is lousy with springtails. Yuck. That's crazy. So let's turn this over, get some air in here. And then we're going to give them some of that neem cake powder also. I'm not seeing any whole chunks of food in here. Just leaves. Well, there's a good size one. So still quite a bit of leaf bedding in here. I don't know if it's you can see it, but I can feel that it's not done. It's still pretty grainy. So I'm gonna flip them over. They're still happy in here. I'm still seeing lots of cocoons. Okay. So first, I'm gonna give them a good two handfuls of my grain feeding. And then I'm going to give them a handful of the neem cake. Because the springtails are a little too numerous for me. And the neem cake will end up being good nutrients for the worms as well as the flowers and plants that the castings go into later when I harvest it. I think neem cake is what the mosquito dunkers are made out of. I'm not sure about that. If anybody knows what's in the mosquito dunkers, put that down below. I've heard people say buy mosquito dunkers and crush them up and put them in your bin if you want to get rid of the springtails and whatnot. 
but those are really expensive around here. Just for like a six pack, it's like 12 bucks. And I'm like, that is, that is too much. I'm gonna try the neem cake anyway, cause that's part of my fertilizer program. If it works, it works. If it doesn't, eh, it'll end up back in the flower garden anyway. All right, I'm gonna put this back on the shelf and I'll get the next one. All right, grow up bin. This looks like a cocoon that's already hatched. It's kind of smushed a little bit, if you can see. But it's that uh, coffee color. Oh, look, yay, more springtails. Just gonna dig around in here just a little. This is a part of the the bin that was split because it got wet, had a bunch of bedding put in it, or coconut coir rather, to kind of rescue the worms. So even though this bin is really full, it is not ready. Still lots of paper, you can see the bedding in there. Chunks of things here and there. So I'm gonna try and get underneath and see. This doesn't have as high of a population as the other two. Still do have a couple of good sized worms though. Oops, sorry, worm quake. All right, yeah, I'm not seeing anything food wise. Just bedding. So I am going to do the same thing that I did to the other ones is I'm just gonna give them a little bit of grain and some neem cake and call it a day for these guys. And this is just grits and oatmeal put through a coffee grinder. I'm just gonna kind of incorporate that This is a really good moisture. I wish the bin, all of my bins were right about this moisture because that way when they're ready to harvest, it doesn't take hardly any time at all to get down to where I can sift it. But if it's wetter than this, then it, I have to put a fan on it in order to get it to siftable moisture. Got the stem of a banana in here. All right. Well, that's it for my little grow up bins. If you like this video, give me a muddy thumbs up. And if you're not already a member of my worm family, click that subscribe button down there. And if you wanna know what I'm doing when I'm doing it, ring that little bell icon. All right guys, thanks for hanging out with me and my worms and everybody have a good day.